What happens when a car company, a chip giant, an electronics titan, and the world's biggest ride-hailing app team up? You get the robo-taxi Avengers. Yeah, you heard that right. Stellantis, NVIDIA, Uber, and Foxconn are joining forces to build a global fleet of AI-powered self-driving cars by 2028. And if that sounds like the start of a sci-fi movie, buckle up, because this one's real. Let's break this down. Stellantis, the car-making powerhouse behind Jeep, Fiat, Dodge, and Citroën, is building the physical vehicles. NVIDIA brings the brains. Their drive platform, the same AI hardware that powers autonomous systems worldwide. Foxconn, the same company that assembles iPhones, is handling all the electronics and manufacturing integration. And Uber, well, they bring the network. They already move millions of rides daily. Now they want to make those rides driverless. Put it all together, and you've got a plan to flood major cities with robotaxes that can drive you to work while you scroll through TikTok or sip your coffee. Here's where it gets wild. They're not aiming for basic autopilot or lane assist. They're going straight for level 4 autonomy. That's the stage where a car can drive entirely on its own in most environments, no human needed. You could literally sit in the back seat, answer emails, or take a nap, and the car would handle everything. Traffic lights, pedestrians, roundabouts, and that one guy who never uses his turn signal. In simple terms, this is the level right before fully self-driving everywhere. And if they actually pull this off, it could change urban transport forever. So here's what's on the roadmap. Uber plans to launch 5,000 of these self-driving units once the project goes live in the US, then expand to global cities. Each car will combine NVIDIA's AI brain, Foxconn's electronics, and Stellantis's bodywork, all integrated into Uber's app. It's like the smartphone moment, but for transportation. Imagine opening Uber and seeing a driverless option. No small talk, no tips, no driver cancelling your ride because your destination's too close. Now, here's the reality check. Level 4 autonomy sounds amazing on paper, but in practice, it's brutally hard. Even the best systems struggle with unpredictable human behavior. Jaywalkers, bad weather, construction zones, or GPS glitches. And let's not forget regulations. Every city, every country has its own laws on self-driving tech. Then there's cost. These vehicles aren't cheap. You've got high-end sensors, LiDAR, cameras, and AI chips that can cost more than the engine itself. So the big question is, can they scale this affordably? Because right now, building one robotaxi costs as much as a luxury car. But here's why this partnership matters. Each player solves a different piece of the puzzle. NVIDIA's drive. 4Chip can process massive real-time data streams, letting the car see, think, and act faster than a human. Foxconn has global factories already optimized for mass production. If anyone can scale, it's them. Uber has data from billions of rides. That's gold for training AI models to predict routes, rider behavior, and traffic flow. Stellantis provides the design, safety, and durability from decades of building vehicles at scale. Together, they might just have enough firepower to make this more than a demo, to make it a business. All eyes are on 2028. That's when the first global fleet is expected to launch. By then, the AI driving systems will likely be far more advanced. City infrastructure will be smarter and consumers, well, will be more comfortable letting a machine drive us home after a long day. If this works, it could transform not just how we move, but how cities are built. Fewer parking lots, fewer accidents, and maybe, just maybe, fewer traffic jams. Walking might really be so, 2025. We're watching the next transportation revolution unfold, and it's being led not by one company, but by a coalition of giants. Subscribe for more such videos and click on bell icon to get updated.